Quite frankly, I have no idea what the fuck I just watched. So Dick's the Musical is the R-rated version of The Parent Trap where you have two rival business guys who find out that they're twins and they set up this plan to get their divorced parents back together. And quite frankly, the trailer for this movie looked absolutely wonderful. It looked like it was going to be a lot of fun. And this year, we've had a streak of fun, raunchy comedies. We had No Hard Feelings, Joyride, Strays, to a degree bottoms and then we also had the blackening so quite frankly this has been a great year for comedies however that streak kind of ends with dicks the musical while i really enjoy the fact that they made it feel like you're actually watching a play with all the set aesthetics and just the way that it made it look this movie did not leave me satisfied in 96 minutes and while i appreciate and adore that this movie was 96 minutes because if it ran a little bit longer this would have probably been another musical that I walked out of. I walked out of Spirited last year because I didn't think that movie was funny. And now this movie kind of made me wish I had stayed because I felt like I wanted to walk out of this movie. Because this movie commits the one sin that a comedy movie cannot commit and that is being unfunny. While those aesthetics that I really enjoyed really made the movie kind of feel a little bit more alive. There was really nothing for me to get behind because aside from a few pity chuckles, this movie was not working for me at all and I feel like this movie is going to be really divisive amongst a lot of people because while I enjoyed a couple of creative choices and the two leads that we have in this movie played by Josh Sharp and Aaron Jackson they were the most uncharismatic and unlikable people that I have ever seen on screen they were not funny I did not care about them they have no character progression in this movie they're all just one note the only thing that you really know about them is that they like to fuck and talk about how big their dick is and how satisfying it leaves the women that they fuck but aside from a few pity chuckles it just felt like they were trying so hard to make a raunchy r-rated musical because i feel like this is the first time that we had a raunchy musical from beginning to end. Uh, I'm not sure if you count Tenacious D, The Pick of Destiny, a raunchy comedy or a musical per se, but it felt like they were trying so hard to shove so much of those raunchy jokes down your throats, pun intended, and it just did not work for me. There were a couple of pity laughs that it got for me, but for the majority of the time, I was just really fucking bored with this movie because it wasn't funny the characters weren't likable there was nothing really holding me together with this movie the musical numbers aside from the opening one that i kind of enjoyed a little bit were not all that well and when you have the director of borat that is who's behind this film and if you've seen borat then you know exactly where you're going to be expecting the ending of this movie though is going to be very polarizing and it's probably the biggest WTF moment that we have had on screen since probably the orgy scene in Sausage Party. Especially with Megan Mullally's character, there is something that happens with her that I thought was very interesting and would have been more enjoyable if I was on board with this movie from the moment that it started but it did not have the BDE that I was looking for so overall I'm going to go ahead and give Dix the musical a 1 out of 10 I was this movie was just not for me I didn't find it particularly funny the characters were not likable there were a couple of pity laughs that it got out of me but that's just the only thing that it really got out of me and quite frankly this movie was just a little bit insufferable for me but those are my thoughts on dicks the musical this movie has been released in limited release so it hasn't had a wide release just yet i'm not sure if it's ever going to get a wide release but it's starting to trickle out into theaters but let me know if you guys checked it out and if you enjoyed it a little bit more than i did but those are my thoughts go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comments below and we'll catch you guys for the next review